Hey guys, we're going to learn about okay, HTTP on Google Web Server. So what this does is pretty much you can test an API that you haven't created yet or you want to test an API and you don't have a developer key and you don't want to test on a production server or API. So this creates a local API for you. Um, it's local, it doesn't go to the internet really. Um, and you can just test your APIs with it without really screwing up your own server or creating your own server. It makes it a lot easier. So um, we're going to have to get a dependency, and that's from here. We're at 3.7.0 right now. I created this method to just. Um, send out a request pretty much. Now we're just going to test something really quick in this method, this test. And we're going to create a mock web server. New mock web server. Now this just creates our server now. We have our server. We do this to <clears throat> send out calls and um, and everything so we can do server.nq which is pretty much just um, whenever there is a response we get a reply this pretty much gives us so when, whenever I send out a get request like here I will get a reply <coughs> from this our nq so we're going to create our reply whenever we send get request. So we're going to do a new mock response. We're going to set the body to, uh, let's put get a found. So whenever I send out your request, I'll get this back. So now we're going to do server let's start. Now we just started our server. We're going to create our URL. We're going to do just uh, like API slash. send a, a, a get request and we just got our uh, this is just a body of the request so body of request A, a recap we create our server whenever we get a get request to the server this is what it returns we started our server and created our URL from the server so this is like um, HTTP localhost slash API slash hey we're, and then we're taking this URL and we're sending get request and we're getting this back body and we're checking it. So let's kind of run this. It works. Um, but it works. As if 
I delete that, it's not working. See, right there. Uh, expected there. So we were right. We got something back. Now, you can use this. You can use this in so many ways. So if you want to create a new API for yourself, you don't have to create a whole server and wait to develop the app until the server is there. You can actually create your methods and everything and, and pretty much go on with your app without ever creating the server. Well, not ever, but while you create the API and everything, and you don't have to wait till the API. I think this is great when in a big company or something, or, or any startup or anything, a the API server isn't fully created, but, but you know returns and what to call and everything. So you can test before it's even up. So as soon as the API server is up and created, you're all ready to go, all your methods are created already. This speeds up everything so fast. That's it.